to uh, present in front of such esteemed audience. And thanks for Dr. Abdelhamir for giving me such opportunity, although it's my first surgery. And thanks for my teacher, you said, Dr. Adnan, you said, my colleague, and uh, not your colleague, and your students. So, uh, thankful for being just in front of you to give me your comments. I'll straight, uh, st start straight away. It's a critique of aneurysm. It's not a simple echoon. It's a complex echoon because it includes a part of the echoon. I will start my lecture with this slide. We are nothing without our teachers. And we are shamefully inferior to them if we don't advance beyond them. So, all over the world, there is a I will start from Tokyo for this uh, presentation. Uh, all over the world, it's either clipping or coloring. Uh, it, it's actually clipping versus coloring. Only in Japan, it's clipping and coloring. The same surgeon doing vascular surgeon uh, can't do the endovascular, so you can decide whether to take the patient to uh, coloring or a clipping. So this is an example of some surgeries that I assist actively in uh, our training. Uh, in the morning, we, we did this calling for this large uh, giant pneumo aneurysm. And uh, on the same day, we did urgent clipping for MCA bifurcation aneurysm. Next day, carotid and arthrectomy. With it. This is all with, uh, with the same professor. And on the other day, we bilateral MCA, bilateral myomine disease, direct and indirect bypass. And another day with of giant dual infiltrated 73 coils. Just to know that each coil costs more than $1,000 in Japan and will cost more than $3,000 in Europe. That the cost on the patient age is 86. That's the thing. Yes. So, um, this is just an example of patient age and the work of neurosurgery. If you uh, check uh, the ages, it's most of it above 50, 50% 50 above 75, and this is 94, 89, 97, and this is patient for surgery, either before or post. So, and uh, I use the word we did because I did actively uh, assistant in all surgery, and this is the official website for this fellowship, and just to tell my colleague and uh, uh, for resident that this is a very nice place to go for, the, you are allowed to assist in all surgery and perform selective surgery under supervision. I don't think many uh, areas in the world have offered this in the official website. So, and the most important we learned in Japan is to the deep respect for teachers all over the world. So, going to the operative video. For sure, it's not like the video of Dr. Ahmed Adnan. Just, not just because he's an experienced surgeon, but...
this technical issue. It will be not a nice video because uh, uh, my teacher, uh, Dr. Ahmed Adnan, presenting like non-ruptured cases. This is a ruptured echo, so it will not very pretty. But uh, this is the case. That's the presenting CT scan. It's a gyro sectus nerve. We consider it non uh, significant hematoma to evacuate. And this is what I should uh, give you an orientation about it. So, this is the reconstruction of the uh, CT angio, uh, showing that right A1, which is dominant, from on the left A1 non dominant, not a field. Then, this is the A2, A2 the right. So, this is the ACOM. The aneurysm neck is just wide, originating from ACOM, and the proximal part of the A2. With the most important two MAPI teeth, one superior teeth, which ruptures and which already ruptured and causing the gyro surface, and another teeth just inferior. This teeth make the uh, aneurysm more likely to rupture and travel. And what I like uh, to point there, I would like to stress there, is I want to see, I want you to see this connection. What you call it, I don't know, but I call it a second echo. This is saying the whole surgery. This is a second echo. So make the temporary treatment longer and make the, surgery, the whole surgery safer. This is our chance, not only the patient chance. I will skip the, the rotation on CT and you. And we choose a standard trional approach, because it's just the beginning. This is a video, I put it, official video within the hospital and for the patient, also given the same video and already posted in YouTube, showing the initial steps. You know, these steps usually not recorded because not on microscope. And I will go straight, we choose a position with 48 degree because it's a rather high income complex. And we tell the sphenoid and the lateral orbit and we are Decided to open the CPM fissure. I will skip this animation, although it's very nice and it's a mobile application just for aneurysm surgery simulation. Give orientation to the whole team. And this is the start. Proximal CPM fissure section following the classical technique of microsurgery. Dissect uh, chicken, coagulate, and cut as possible. Please always remember this is the first surgery. Just to give me some claims for it. So, we start from the proximal part of Sylvian as proximal as uh, possible, assisted by the drumming. That's the adhesion. We go directly. This is an important step. Carotid artery. This is on the marker, and this is the optic. Again, it's a rupture case nine days before, uh, after rupture, so it's severely adherent. We are trying to open the optic and optical chiasmatic system, and you can find it's difficult. We use a modified electron knife, it's not the typical one, but it works good. And if you see the dissection point, it's very adherent. At this point, we decide to get back and to open the liliquist membrane. That's the difference. As uh, Dr. Heider said in his excellent lecture about aneurysm, uh, that uh, the system that should open, and you don't mention to open the liliquist membrane because it's optional in ACOM, and I decide to open the liliquist membrane. At this case, uh, I will show you, actually it's very beautiful. This is the optic nerve, optical carotid triangle, carotid ocular motor triangle. This is the ocular motor nerve, and just put the second here, and you will see a whitish membrane. Yes, this is it. The upper part of it, the liquid membrane, our membrane of liquid. Actually, this is the real membrane that separates the supraarticular system from the intraarticular system. With this case of already ruptured cerebral hemorrhage. So it's very critical to open it, and the evidence for this criticality 
I put it on article I'm going to be published from Kentucky uh, USA Louisville uh, University. And it's, is it mandatory? That's the title of article. Is it mandatory to open the request number in a com surgery or not? And the target of this opening is to relax the brain. Also, the patient has a little IVH, so we already decided to open both the lupus membrane and the larval terminus. You can see how beautiful the egress of CSF. Actually, the, C the surgical field falls six times by this egress. That's very nice. We, we usually don't see this egress of CSF from any other system at all. This is just opening a connection between supra and infra territorial through the lupus membrane. I think it's evident now, and um, we'll go to the second step. I already increased the speed of surgery at this point, just to save your time, and sorry for delay, and sorry for, to answer for delay. And this point, we are getting back about the optic. I hope it's here. Yes. Section all possible uh, all uh, possible arachnoid membrane from medial to lateral, lateral to medial. Then getting above the optic. While we are getting above the optic to identify the uh, uh, first the extralateral I1, which is the right I1. Actually, the, the day before the surgery, my dream is to catch this artery. I say if I catch the right A1, uh, there is the, the patient will not die intraoperatively. That's the idea. Patient has two uh, two uh, teeth. So high risk of intraoperative rupture. We identify the right A1, I descend above and below just to prepare it for temporary clip, then getting more medial. This is how this is, I think this is the training, how you can identify the perforator from the adhesion. I I think the, for the microsurgeon they know this is an important technical point. And you can see clear if you don't have a good training at this point, you will cause a lot of injury. A lot of out of field injury. I think the atom is a little bit high, so I start early with partial gyroscope section on the right side, which already uh, he, he already patient has left gyroscope testimonials pre op. Hopefully, the patient has no complication. This is just at this resection. The most important and the most difficult step is when you are reaching the, uh, the posterior limit because it will be a real surface and very adherent to the aneurysm. At this point, you can tell that this is a grayish, not a clear, white, uh, clear white area. I think this is the uh, laminate analysis, very clear. This is the optic, right optic, left optic, yes, and this is the laminate analysis. So I decided to open the laminate terminals and the patient already has IVH. And there is a lot of study of double opening of helicopter membrane and laminate terminals. Sorry, but I decided to open it bluntly, not sharply, because it's just parallel to my plan of dissection. So we decided to open it with a right angle dissector, because it's just parallel to my uh, plan. I don't want to open it sharp. At this point, after we are applying a golden clip, so it's temporary clip to the non-dominant contralateral first, then another temporary clip. This is a, not a camera, this is a speedy video. And now to temporary clip. You can identify this is the aneurysm, and this is the dictative clip because I already check above there is a perforator just above the dome and yes this is the perforator I should stop there and say it so this is a dictative clip just a clip to see what uh, what you are uh, uh, what around you and to identify the neck better because very ideal if you find uh, Already expected a remnant, and at this point, 
I think you can follow it easy now. This is the carotid, go to carotid bifurcation, dominant, the right dominant A1, which is epsilateral, A1, 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 and this is ACOM, and this is the recurrent artery of the with a 4 millimeter after the ACOM, A1, A2, A2 conjunction, and this is the A2 artery. You can see how it's clear, the A1, and we already see the patient has distal ACOM, so it's totally secured. And what's this artery? It's just nine millimeter behind the ACOM, so it's orbitofrontal artery, just the bridge above. And we should see it. Uh, I'm about to finish the surgery. It's a reconstruction to flip. It's not a look. I think this is fair enough. You can see how the dome is clear. We use preoperative laboratory, we use intraoperative papillary, we use all the possible ECG, uh, ICG, intraoperative ICG not working properly. And just I want to show you the post op. We did pre and post op contrast. We will do three month CT injury. This is very clear, the aneurysm in A1, and the same study as my teacher, Dr. Ahmed and And this is the, uh, we are working in this uh, atmosphere. Just to conclude. This is the patient posted by the hospital, and the, uh, the hospital thank me. I just put it because some person said that there's, it's definitely not summer during this surgery. So, this is the last textbook about, about vascular neurosurgery by uh, Spitzler and saying one of the most important indications of clipping till now is, indica is inc inclusion of A1 or, two or A2 within the aneurysm. As a message, surgery is a little hemostasis. The best way to uh, learn surgery is from cadaveric uh, courses, either human or animal, and for me, this is not an accomplishment, I agree with, with you, this is not an accomplishment, but, but uh, as uh, Dr. Abdelmir said, when he invited me to give this talk, that it's uh, rather a good start, because such kind of surgery, either you do it perfect and the patient is good, or you can not start. That's all because we are standing on the shoulder of giants, that's because all of you, my teacher, and there is no team without you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sarva. And back, question? Okay, because we are running out of, uh, out of time, we will uh, post up perhaps some few comments after the Yasser Mahmoudi, Professor of Neurosurgery. Surgery. He will give a presentation of guidelines of gamma knife in the so we can